Hey y'all, and welcome back to Bayou Farm Life. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking. I hope you stick around and I hope you enjoy your time. Today we're gonna to be reviewing some team roping runs from a jackpot that I went to yesterday. We got us a cup of coffee and we got all the time in the world. So let's get right into it. Good morning everybody so it is officially jackpot day we just got the the horse loaded after he ran from us and we had to go catch him uh so let's head out to the jackpot let's go win us some money and have a whole lot of fun guys we just got parked let's get out get this old nasty horse all cleaned up and saddled up let's get ready to win some money looks like a shear to sheep definitely a different horse Well guys, it has been a long day. I have been aggravated, I have been upset with myself, I was happy with myself, then I was upset with myself again. It has just been a, it's been a wild day. Uh, did not rope good at all. I mean, just absolutely had a terrible day. Was lucky enough to end up uh, coming home with some trophies, but I'll show y'all all that when I get home. We're fixing to leave the arena. We're gonna go to the house, cool, uh, cool everything off. And yeah, I'm gonna walk y'all through each run kind of talk about each run and how it all went out and hope y'all enjoy it. So to sum up the whole day of the jackpot, the best words that I could think of was just pure luck. <laughs> that I mean, just pure luck. It was, it was a struggle. The whole day I struggled, did not rope good, roped absolutely terrible. 
was embarrassed half the time, honestly. Was just got lucky, is to say the least. So, but there's a video on YouTube of the one and only Trevor Brazil talking about the monsters, and, I, and you may or may not have seen it. If not, you definitely need to go check the video out. Um, it's under the Relentless Nation channel. And he talks about not making the monsters bigger than they are, and meaning don't overthink things, you know. Uh, he talks about, you know, you could have six perfect runs and you're not worried about the seventh one, but you miss one and it just kills your whole day because you're worried about that one miss. So basically just try to, you know, move past it, you know, accept what you've done wrong and move past it. And that's something that I had to really struggle with yesterday. It was not easy. It was a, it was definitely a challenge to do that. And that's something good that that video from Trevor Brazil helped me with was, was that mentality right there. And on top of all that, he talks about the pressure aspect of, of being in a, in a rodeo jackpot environment. You know, he talks about the, the money part of it. You know, you know, you're up for money and that pressure gets to you and he gives you, and he talks about some drills and stuff that you, that you can do at home that'll help you. So y'all make definitely go make sure and check that video out. It is a very good one and, it's, and it really helps me a lot. And like I told y'all before, I try to keep this channel as real as possible. The catches, the misses, the good, the bad, the ugly. Uh, I want to show y'all just how it is. It's, it is team roping. Not everything's going to go perfect. Not everything's going to, not, you're not always going to have a good day. And yesterday was definitely not one of my good days. So as you can tell on my very first steer, the steer took a terrible handle, was trying to run underneath my horse. The rope never even really got tight. I just threw, I, I just, I don't know. I, I don't know why I threw. I should have let him reset it. There was no cutoff time. Should have took my time, but I threw. So that was a big fat no time to start the day off. Then the second run of the first round, uh, my header broke out, no big deal. That don't bother me at all. We're still just gonna go take our shot where, it, where it's at. Luckily, I had a pretty quick shot. I took it, it worked out great. Probably the, probably the best run and the best, the best loop I threw all day, honestly. Then my third steer, my header roped it and he missed his dally. So the steer kind of was trying to cut into the strip and shoot. Well, he got a dally before he crossed the plane of the strip and shoot. Once the steer crosses the plane of the strip and shoot, it's automatically no time. Well, he caught him, he got him out of there before then. And I tried to ride up to the steer and the steer would just run underneath behind his head horse, just all over the place. It was, a, it was another total wreck. So again, another no time. So then that leads us into the second round. I had one coming back in the second round. My header broke out again in the second round. Again, no big deal. That is not a, that don't bother me whatsoever. This roping was very easy. There wasn't a lot of people catching. All I had to do was just stop the clock. My silly self thought it was a great idea to throw as soon as I got there. Instead of taking a very good high percentage shot, terrible shot. No idea why I done it again. I wish I knew why I took half the shots I take, but it didn't work out to say the least. So that's a big no time. So that knocked me out of the first rope. So I stayed around and we roped in the second rope and that happened that day. first run in it. My header turned it. He done a good job of handling him. The steer kind of wanted to get a little heavy, got behind his head horse. I got in position. The steer kind of jumped out to where I needed him at. And I threw and I was having, and I started having this problem on this steer. I was not putting my bottom strand down on the ground. So my rope would just, would go through in front of the legs. The bottom strand wouldn't hit the ground. There's no way for the steer to get in it. It just kicks the rope out. So, another no time.
at the second cow, the second rope. And we got out, the header roped him. He was handling good. Somehow the steer got a little bit of slack and wanted to kind of run straight. The rope got tight again and kind of caused him to have a second corner almost. Again, I took a bad shot. I missed. Just, this, it was definitely one of them days, as y'all can see. So then at this point, I was extremely, extremely bummed. I felt like that it was just a terrible day. I was not gonna overcome it. I was gonna continue to rope bad and I was gonna go home empty handed. So I was extremely bummed. And there was a gentleman at the roping that come up to me and he gave me a few pieces of advice. And if you know me, you understand that I absolutely love getting advice. I, I, am, I am never too prideful to get advice. I love getting advice. I wanna hear what you have to say, what you've seen, what you thought I did wrong. I love it. I'm, I'm not too good for it. So he come up to me and he gave me uh, his advice on what he thought I was doing wrong. And it made sense to me because I seen where I, where I was doing these things wrong. So I go into the, I go into the box to rope our next deer and the header turns it, he breaks out. Again, no big deal. He breaks out, he turns it. I, rope, I kick around there and I rope him by two feet and my confidence just built back up and it was like a big sigh, like a big relief. So I felt really good after that. So that left me with only that one run going to the second round. My header gets out good, he turns him, I kick, through the, I kick around him and I rope him by two feet and when I went to come down, my rope went right across the top of my horse's head. I was struggling to find my dally. I had to kick my horse back up. Uh, I, we finally got a dally, didn't slip a leg and we got us a good clean time, which put us in a short go. Coffee break. So we went to the short go sitting high callback. And I don't really like being high call back because my nerves get the best of me. But the, there was only a select few teams that made it to the short go. They was paying four monies. When we went up there to rope, only three teams had caught. And that means that your high call back going into the roping already is gonna get paid. So we walked in the box knowing that we was already gonna get a paycheck. So all that fear, all that nervousness, all that went away. So I felt, I walked in there very confident. I felt good. He, he uh, busted the barrier, which we had like 14 seconds to play with. So I was like, no big deal, you know, whatever. I'm fine with winning second or third. Heck, I was fine with winning fourth. So he broke the barrier and I kicked through the corner and I'm telling you, I seen my shot, everything felt good. My delivery felt good, everything felt perfect. Except that same thing I was telling y'all earlier that I was having a problem with, my bottom strand never hit the ground. The cow kicked it out and I was just, abs I was absolutely upset with myself. If the roping would have had to keep going on, that would have been another one of the monsters that I was talking about that I would have had to have overcome. Cause it was definitely heartbreaking. We ended up with fourth place and we ended up with second place in the incentive for that roping. So we come home, I mean, I made a little money and got a few prizes, but it should have been more than that. I sh we should have done better than that. Or I should have done better than that, excuse me. Uh, but it all worked out in the end. Yeah, to say the least, I was definitely struggling that day to stay positive and to, and to keep going and to, to move past all these misses that I had. But that's, that's the only way you can do it. You know, you can't sit there and dwell on them or you're gonna do nothing but continue to rope like that or to continue to be like that in no matter what aspect of life you're in. Another thing, I forget the I forget the guy's name that come up to me and said he watches me on YouTube, and I really, really do apologize for I'm terrible with names, absolutely terrible. 
But thank you so much for watching and congratulations on winning your buckle. You done a really good job and rope really well. I sure appreciate hearing from y'all and I love getting feedback from everybody. But I think that's going to be about it for me today. Uh, y'all make sure and tune in Saturday because I got an extremely, extremely cool project I'm going to be working on this week. And I hope to get it all done and have it out for y'all for Saturday. I think y'all are really going to enjoy it. And it's going to be something really, really different to say the least. Uh, so y'all definitely make sure and tune in Saturday and see what kind of project I'm going to be on. Thank y'all for so, so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure and like and subscribe, please. And we'll see y'all then.